Hello folks, something a little bit different today. I know that I don't usually put audio commentaries onto my photo video slideshows, but I figured this time as I've got a little bit of spare time on my hands that I would do. I should say straight off the bat here that not every display from the Black Country Brick Show features in this little slideshow. The reason for that is I was a displayer myself and it was a busy show with lots of displays and I didn't really get the chance to go around and photograph or video everybody's builds. So if your display doesn't feature in here and there'll be a lot that don't, I'm sorry but that's kind of the way it is. Anyway, let's get on with it. These dinosaurs are great. I love that one there reaching up for the dragonfly. Echo Base Hoff, what I like about this display is that the minifigures and vehicles aren't necessarily scaled, yet it still totally works. Those explosions are great. Another example, you don't, you know, another Star Wars display, you don't have to go big to look good with your displays, and I think this is a good example of a smaller but great looking display. Spider Man head bust, I think that might be James Gage's handiwork. Ah, oh, now these are really light mechs, classic space, and dinosaurs. Three things you think wouldn't go together, but they totally work. I mean, it looks great. I don't know who built these, but I was, I was really partial to them. I thought, you know. Hats off, what a clever piece of thinking. Oh, these are cool, it's various vehicles from film, TV and toy lines. So there's the APC from Aliens. Red Alert and Laser Beak, I think that's Transformers. Oh, the um, Tron Light Cycles. Oh, the Black Trans Am kit, it's Knight Rider. Pity the Fool, yep, it's the A-Team. This is um, Mask, it's a uh, Gator, I think. Bumblebee, before he was a Camaro, kids ask your parents. Jabba's Palace, oh, I know it's Jabba's Palace and not Boba Fett's Palace, because it's got Jabba in it, look. Oh, this is cool. What I liked about this is the way you see the sort of Minecraft. I know the interior is Minecraft, but it's it's still 3D, so it's, it's like a world inside a world. Such a clever piece of building, isn't it? Medieval fantasy type build. Pirate's Cove type build. I've seen that one before somewhere, I think, at another brick show. Ah, oh, this is great. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, something deliciously dark I find about this. I saw this at Bricklinks last year. I think it's come on a little bit from them. Them skeletal reindeers are great, aren't they? Neil Burgess's rotating Lego themes tower, always a winner. really colourful displays. I thought this was really good. This is Andy Walker's HG Wells War of the World diorama. Alien harvesters there and the red weed and look at all the details and the shop front signs and everything on here. I displayed next to Andy at Where's the Brick earlier in the year but on that occasion Andy's display was more train orientated which was good for me because I was able to talk to him and I feel like I learned a lot from Andy. He's a nice bloke, but yeah, I mean, this is a great display. HMS Thunderchild there. Andy was actually playing the music from Jeff Wayne's musical rendition of the story. Oh, this is the Glasgow Brick Subway. I think this is Chris Miller's work. Cargo ship. Modern beach scene. Stormtroopers because, well, why not? Sand people or Tuscan Raiders because, well, why not? Oh yes, um, the Wizard of Oz, the Yellow Brick Road. Or is that Elton John? I don't know. Anyway, it's a lot of colours in there and um, quite a clever use of elements in this display, I think. Some lovely looking vintage cars. A can of fizzy pop, that's not made out of Lego. 
some of these train carriages are great as well really well detailed really nice sort of classic look to them only fools and horses so you've got the Reliant there and Rodney and Del Boys, Batman and Robin the Nags Head even got Boise's used car lot there down the end look this castle's great I first saw this when I displayed earlier at the year at um, Cobbler's Brick Show Trojan horse there. That Trojan horse does actually have minifigures in it. Oh, this was Lee Stanley's display. I displayed next to Lee at this show. Again, another great builder, someone great to talk to. Learned a lot from him on the day. I've done really well actually in um, display buddies so far on Lego shows this year. Yeah, quite a varied display Lee did. And finally, my humble little display, I couldn't take the full display to this show, which is a shame, but it will be at Bressingham in July if you're going. Love that photo of my Vipers. Organisers, helpers, displayers and traders. I'm in that photo somewhere. I'll let you guess where. That's it really. Thank you for watching. See you soon.